are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Leah Thomas here in this video yet again. As you guys know, the University of Pennsylvania is getting massive backlash for nominating a biological male in Leah Thomas for the NCAA Woman of the Year. A man nominated for, for an award that is for women. I don't know what's going on over there at UPenn but they deserve all of the backlash that is coming their way. Now, one of the competitors of Leah Thomas, Riley Gaines from uh, Kentucky, has come out now and absolutely destroyed Leah Thomas and the NCAA and pretty much, you know, making a mockery of the NCAA Woman of the Year Award. Check this out over here on Fox News. Riley Gaines, former Kentucky swimming star, slams nomination of Leah Thomas for NCAA Woman of the Year. And there's a tweet that um, Riley Gaines put out. And in this tweet, she acknowledged that Leah Thomas is not a woman. Not a woman. This is a man. She knows that. The University of Pennsylvania knows that. But uh, check this out. She was actually uh, responding to a tweet uh, from Clay Travis of Outkick. He had tweeted out Penn nominated transgender swimmer Leah Thomas as their NCAA Woman of the Year. Hell of an accomplishment to be the Woman of the Year only after being a woman for a couple of years. Very interesting because we don't even call little girls women. After only a couple of years, but I digress. This is what Riley Gaines had to say about Leah Thomas being nominated. She tweets out being the real girl in that photo. And let me show you guys the photo here because they had tied in the uh, 200 meter freestyle. This is Riley Gaines right here. This is Leah slash Will Thomas. Over here on the right, that is a real woman right there. This is a biological man. Look at the difference, man. Look at the difference. Me and my wife were actually having a conversation about this stuff. And I was telling her, if you just feel my lids, my lids feel rough. They have hair on them. It feels like a man. But you as a woman, it feels very, very smooth, gentle, soft. There's biological differences between men and women. But anyway, back to the tweet. She tweets out being the real girl in that photo and also University of Kentucky's nominee for NCAA Woman of the Year. This is yet another slap in the face to women. First, a female national title and now nominated for the Pinnacle Award in Collegiate Athletics. The NCAA has made this award worthless. And she is absolutely correct. This award combines athletic performance with academics, service, and character. What character has Thomas shown other than sheer selfishness and entitlement? The disrespect and disregard for the other female athletes in Thomas's interviews is eye-opening. Hats off to Riley Gaines. Hats off to her. She says that she is the only real girl in this photo. And she's right. Because she is a woman. This is a man right here. This is a man. And this man now has the potential to take an award away from an actual female. Then competition here to actually win the NCAA Woman of the Year Award. And folks, the NCAA is really kind of in a pickle now, folks, because think of this. If the NCAA 
doesn't let Leah Thomas win this award, you know that the woke left is going to bash them. Because what has the woke left been telling you guys? They've been saying that trans women are women. Leah Thomas doesn't even look like a woman. Let's just be real about that. Riley Gaines has ovaries. Leah Thomas will never, ever have ovaries. Their equipment between their lids is different. And now this person right here, this selfish person here on the left is trying to take another award away from a woman. This is just unreal, folks, that this is actually being allowed to happen. But it is. This is actually being allowed to happen here. More women need to speak up about this. It's going to be very interesting, guys, to actually see uh, what happens with um, the transgender thing in uh, sports. Now, we know that Fina has pretty much ended the career of Leah Thomas. They're not allowing transgenders to compete. Leah Thomas no longer can compete with actual females at the professional level. They said, nope. We're not going to do it. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, hats off to Riley Gaines, laying the smack down on Leah Thomas. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.